My name is Crystal Watson. This is LUT1 Task 1A for Western Governors University. Today my presentation is on strabismus and strabismus surgery. When my daughter Natalie was about 18 months old, we noticed her right eye would turn out when she was looking at her toy. We took her to our pediatrician and he referred us to Dr. Michael Abrams, a pediatric ophthalmologist in Orem, Utah. She was diagnosed with strabismus, a childhood eye condition. Dr. Abrams recommended surgery after her glasses and patching did not correct the problem. She had her first surgery when she was three and another when she was six. Her surgeries were a success and her eyes are now straight and can focus together. Her confidence and self-esteem have greatly improved due to her aligned eyes. Now I'd like to talk about what strabismus is and what is the best treatment for it. Strabismus is an eye condition in which the eyes are not properly aligned with each other or um, when the eye deviates or turns when looking at objects of regard. The best treatment for strabismus is surgery. With surgery, the muscles of the eyes can be aligned. A successful surgery can give a child an improved self-image and good vision. Good alignment facilitates good vision as stated by George Beauchamp and Paul Mitchell, specialists in the area of strabismus and strabismus surgery. Dr. Jeffrey Cooper also states, surgery is the best way to straighten the eye muscles because they are reattached in the best possible position. As seen on the chart, this is how the surgery for strabismus is done. Surgery to treat strabismus changes the position of the eye muscle to adjust the position of the eye. One is moved back, the other is brought forward. The muscles are reattached and moved so that both eyes are able to focus on the same point at the same time. Surgery is the only way to correct the position of the muscles in the eyes. Now I'd like to address the effects of strabismus on a child's self-image. Sean P. Donahue says children begin to develop negative attitudes towards classmates with strabismus as early as the age of six years. These attitudes can affect relationships, self-image, schoolwork, sports participation, and other activities. Surgical correction of childhood strabismus reduces these difficulties. Persons with misaligned eyes of almost any age above three or four will develop a sense of difference related to the significance of their strabismus. This awareness will often affect a child's self-image, as stated by George Beauchamp and Paul Mitchell. Dr. David Hunter agrees and states that many people believe that their misaligned eyes are a charismatic issue and that they are vain for even asking about it. Patients, family members, friends, and children should understand there is only one position for the eyes and that's both looking in the same direction at once. Today, my daughter's eyes are now beautifully aligned and can focus together. She has more confidence and can you look you right in the eye. The best treatment for strabismus is surgery. With surgery, the muscles of the eyes can be aligned, as seen on this chart. And that is, with surgery, it's the only way they can be aligned. A successful surgery can give a child an improved self-image and good vision. And I am thankful for the surgeries that my daughter have, have had so that she can be a confident seven-year-old today. Are there any questions from the audience? Um, yeah, what are uh, some of the other I, option treatments for, for strabismus? The other options are glassing and patching. And these work to strengthen the eye muscle, but not to correct the alignment of, of the eye muscle, as seen on the chart. Surgery is the only way to correct that. So glasses and patching do help, but surgery is the only way to correct the eye muscle. Will it usually take more than one surgery to correct uh, the problem of strabismus? 
Most likely, it will take more than one surgery, as I stated with my daughter, she had two, to correct the muscles in the eyes. Um, how many um, will be a discussion that you should have with your eye specialist or ophthalmologist? Yep. Is there any other questions? What are the negative side effects of having the eye surgery done, if there is any? Um, a patient can experience swelling and redness in the eyes for up to two to three weeks after surgery. Nausea and vomiting can also be a side effect after surgery, but that can be controlled with medication. Thank you so much for coming to my presentation today, and I hope you've learned a little bit more about strabismus and how it affects children in our community.